We're here with uh, Huawei and uh, we're going to get uh, a little demo from Alan um, what's going on with uh, with Android and with phones and with tablets. Alan? Hi, hi there. Okay, allow me to just show you our Huawei Android. I mean, Huawei's gone into Android in a big way and three years ago, part of we, as we are part of the Android Handset Alliance, we've decided we've gone big on Android. If you look at it from our phones, um, as in all Android, we have Eclair 2.1 here and you can get your typically all your applications like uh, MSN, yeah, you can get online, uh, get in contact with all your friends once you have a 3G access, um, allow it to work in the background. Um, it's really fast and responsive, isn't it? Yes, it is. What's it running on? What process? It's just running on a Qualcomm 768 uh, chipset. Uh, so it's, it's not, not even a Snapdragon? No, it's not even a Snapdragon. So while this is trying to get in the background, let me show you what other stuff I've got here. Um, I've got uh, a WordPress. I mean, a lot of people blog on the, on the internet right now. Download the free application. Start blogging on your stuff. Okay. So you uh, can go to your favorites. You know, you can go to who's on. Oh, this is now back on my MSN. Okay. See, it's running in the background. Oh, Came wow. in. It's online right now. I can start talking to my mates, talking to my friends, talking to my sister. Okay. Go back again to a back to home. Yep. All right. And uh, and then you have the canvas to your liking. Um, what else can I show you here? Simple. Um, if you look at um, some games, I've got very uh, cute strategy games that's you know it runs on um, yeah. it'll take a while it's very common. okay okay well I can imagine that while playing games and watching videos on a phone is, is fun it's probably more fun if you've got a bigger screen yes I call it a yes yes it is so here is what what I'm gonna show you our Android um, device now imagine doing all this in a bigger form factor okay and then here, here we have the S7. The S7. Okay, I'm gonna just put this, this side by side. You can look at the relative size. And then, so this is is what three inches. Uh, yeah, it's a three point five, and this is 3 .5, a three point five, yeah. and this is a seven, seven inch. inch tablet. Okay, now. The Android S7 is a very uh, neat device. Uh, if you look at the quality of the build, it's designed so that you don't feel shy carrying the device. It's got nice trimmings, very robust in build. All right, has the standard features that you will require for a tablet. You have your standard Android um, user interfaces. Yeah, so it's yeah. a bit. We can't a volume see it really control. In the light here, yeah. But, okay. Volume control. Yep. Um, a micro SD card, a HDMI output, a micro SD, yep. and a nice little stand so that you don't have to keep carrying your device. That's the most useful thing I've seen because with the iPad, it doesn't have this and it's extremely useful to get it to stand up on a table like this. Yes. Last but not least, we also have a camera um, yep. so that you can do a two-way video call. Okay. All right, now. So let's have a look at that then. Okay. Let's start with some of the applications first, okay? If you look at uh, the canvas that you find on our S7, it's really a, 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 a canvas that's designed to, to fit most of uh, most people's uh, requirements. So you have like, for example, the home, where you have all your favorite, um, the weather, some photos that you might want to see, some notes that you want to make. You know, so um, this, and you can see the response is actually pretty, pretty fast. Yep, it is. Yeah? I haven't got any photos because I didn't bring my SD card. But if you look at it, if you want to go to the web, let me show you how you go to the web. If you go to a Asia Unplugged, hey, it's there. Yeah? Yep. If you look at it, you know, it's extremely responsive. Okay, click on something that's interesting. Apple versus Korea's homegrown. Okay. It's via 3G. Yep. Um, access right now. We even didn't even not pair it with our uh, Huawei fam uh, very famous E5 uh, next generation modem. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we could do that, but now I just want to show but you we're how. We're just it. using 3G, yeah, 3G here, and that was pretty fast anyway. Yes, so you can see. Okay, so while that's running in the background, we can go back to the home, as you know, Android. Go to, for example, your favorites. Yeah. Look at, say, for example, a YouTube application. Uh, watch Shakira sing. Let's see. Everyone loves to watch Shakira <laughs> Yes, sing. everyone. And this is not even high quality format yet. This is standard format because you may want not want to use so much data. But hey, if you want to watch something high quality, you can also you can just watch click it, in it high quality as well. Yep, and look at the difference. Yep, and that is pretty good there. Well, the stand is very noisy. You can't really hear the volume, but if I try to keep quiet, you can. See. 
a pretty nice experience to have on a 7 inch tablet that you can carry around with you. Yes. It's quite a bit smaller than the 10 inch iPad which is nice because it means that you can actually carry it around a lot more easily and the stand on the back makes it really very portable and you can stick it down anywhere and it still sort of stands up. Yes. And and um, the way Huawei does our our tablet is meant not just for personal use, it's also meant for home. So you can put this at the desk. There's a cradle that we plan uh, coming that yep. you can have stick it in into a cradle, connect it to your HDMI uh, TV. That's right, because yeah. the HDMI is on the bottom here, yes. so you can stick it in a cradle and connect it right up to your TV yeah. at home. And so from what I understand, this is supposed to be, it's not so much a personal device as it is a family device. Yes, it is. You want it to be available in the home for you know, it can give reminders to kids yes. to do their homework. Yes, yes. Uh, can everyone remind. can put their schedules in. You know, you, we can somehow send set the reminders so that everybody's reminders come on screen. Um, from a communication standpoint, it does all the standard. It makes phone calls. Um, you can dial the numbers. It's a very sim same user interface as in any uh, Android device. Um, if you look at um, so it's like a home phone on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice, that's a nice, nice attack line. Um, you can also go um, your email. Go type, you know, uh, you can type whatever yep. I mean, uh, email emails that you may want to send. We haven't configured anything, but with 2.1 it supports um, the standard Outlook and yep. uh, ex Exchange. And it's also quad band, so it does work in the US. Yes, it will. And uh, I suppose you're, you're in negotiations with various carriers, and you're probably not going to tell me about which ones, but... We, 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 are, we are friends to all operators, and we, all, we have always been uh, providing products and solutions that help the operators increase their revenue and their, their ARPU. All right. Yep. Okay, so uh, you just have to wait for the operators to make their announcements, unfortunately. Okay, let me just show you a ni nice little feature here. See who's into doing the interview. Okay. Hey, that's me. There it is. <laughs> this is us here, Unplugged, reporting live from Communication. Okay. Now, this just gives you a glimpse of what we can actually do. So, you know, I can take a photo of... Um, and... Um, and then, and then after that, I'll, I'll, I'll play a video. Yep. And then you can, you know, so it's, 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 it's all gonna Here be there. We are again. Yeah. Okay. Can record while well, she's recording. The S7, S7 is recording her. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, yeah, it's quite neat. Yeah. Philosophical. Okay. So, um, what else can I show you? Um, very much. This is it. It's, it's customizable. You can put your canvas. Uh, like any other, like all Androids, you can sort of uh, customize your. Your, your, your desktop, canvas, yeah. your desktop, you know, if you don't like this, if you want something like uh, what you typically would like to see exactly the same as in your... As in your phone. Like now, now everybody knows my password. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. You, you, can, you, can, you can basically have the same uh, canvas that you want. Otherwise, um, let me just uh, have it on, on the screen. So you can pick everything that you traditionally want to have on yep. hand. And uh, and uh, and then uh, have it on your screen. So you imagine okay. waking up in the morning, getting yep. a cup of coffee. You see this device, click on the World Cup, find out what's happening in World Cup. Yeah. You know, it's, it's exactly the same thing. Understand where what your schedule is. Understand the time. Do a do a simple math. If, yep. if your wife or your mom's cooking in the kitchen, she may want to check. Hey, what's the most recent recipe that I want to do? Go to the web. Um, you know. Yep. Google something, you know, menu comes up. She can look at it while she's cooking. Yep. You don't have to hold the phone. Yep, that's and true. Yeah, so that's and it's, it's got it's Bluetooth as well. Yes, it is. It's got and Bluetooth. it's got wi Wi-Fi, obviously, yes, wi and 3G. Yes. So, I mean, it's it's pretty much all that you need in a connected device. It's also got, you know, a little microphone down here. Yes. So you can actually talk while you're doing your video calls. Yes. Um, and uh, how long is the battery life? Okay, you know? the standby, uh, the rated standby time for this device is 100 hours. Hours. 100 hours yes, standby. standby, but uh, active, if you do active <laughs> continuous high definition movie watching is about three hours. Okay, three hours of high definition. Which is video. which is a movie, which is yep, the length of that's a movie. A, that is the length of a movie. Yeah. Uh, great. Okay, well, one last thing. Yep. You can have the options, the operators will give you the options of either a plain device with no onboard RAM yep. or you can have a 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig. Wow. And if you, if you decide that you want, just want to buy a base plain with vanilla model, hey, your micro SD card, get the 8 gig and just stick it in and yep, that's, you go. Yep, perfect. Okay, that's, great. That's Thank really you it. very much for showing us that.